Ayurveda is an ancient time-tested body of knowledge about well-being. Apart from the commonly heard terms such as Panchakarma and Ayurvedic massage, there is a hidden part of this body of knowledge. This is the knowledge of finding the root cause of illnesses. This unfamiliar part of Ayurveda is called Nadi Pariksha. This is the knowledge of the pulse. The pulse reveals everything, says Mahesh Krishnamurti, a passionate practitioner of Ayurveda. Without the client having to narrate the history of their ailment with Nadi Pariksha, Mahesh can evaluate the individual's overall health and accurately point out the ailment and its root cause. Mahesh says there are three types of Nadi Pariksha. One is by physically palpitating the pulse. And the second type of diagnosis is to a woman wherein he ties a cotton thread to her wrist and feels the pulse through the thread. The third type is through remotely diagnosing the pulse. Mahesh Krishnamurti practices all three types of diagnosis. That's not all. Once the diagnosis is completed, a treatment plan is prepared. An appropriate diet is suggested which is given primary importance. Without a proper diet, nothing can be accomplished, he says. Then there are Ayurvedic medicines to help the body bounce back quickly. Added to this are therapies such as Marma healing. Marma means secret. These are invisible points in the body which act as indicators of illnesses. Mahesh says aches, pains and ailments occur only at these points. You see, Vayu or wind is the leading cause of any illness. Wind in the body causes movement of elasticity, movement within the body and locomotion of the body. When wind increases or decreases, the body's inner and outer movements behave differently. This is called disease. And Marma healing is a beautiful tool nature has provided us to release diseases from the body. There are 108 marma points in the body. Mahesh says anyone can learn marma healing and work on these points to restore health. Ayurveda or native medicine is the only way to treat these disorders because only native medicine teaches us how nature, emotions and the mind influences the body and its functioning. Emotional and psychological well-being is also a part of the treatment. If a person has domestic or professional issues, then even that is looked into and appropriate remedies or practices are suggested. We use three emotions, sorrow, fear and anger. We need to learn how to use them. Sorrow is given to us so another creature in trouble pains us so we can help. Fear is for self-preservation and anger is given to us to boost our physical, emotional and psychological strength to serve at a particular moment. When we overreact in any situation, we give the mind control of the body, which is how disease begins. It is possible to stop suffering now. Actually, everyone needs to learn how to stop suffering and continue living well. Mahesh says that healing has to be 360 degrees. If any space is not healed, then the disease resumes from there and the person will return for recovery within a short span. He has earned commending reviews about his work from his clients. His thirst for knowledge and quest to unravel life's mysteries from ancient wisdom gives him a boost of life energy and helps his clients heal that much faster. He is looking for interns to whom he can pass on this knowledge. He has trained over 300 Ayurvedic doctors in Nadi Pariksha and over 500 people in Marma Healing.